Town halls have decreased in importance over the years, but once they were hubs of the communities around the state. From tiny bush halls to large ornate town halls, they were places people would come together for all sorts of reasons. Often, the town hall was one of the first public buildings to be erected in a new town. They sometimes predated schools and churches and were used for those functions until the purpose-built buildings were constructed. We've travelled all over WA and seen many of the halls that are scattered around the state. Sadly, some that we saw and photographed years ago have since been demolished. This is always a tragedy, as these places are so important to our collective history. The local hall was once used for dances, where people from the surrounding countryside came together to socialise and catch up with local issues. Young men and women met and fell in love at these dances, and many would later come back to the hall to celebrate their weddings. Public meetings were often held at the town hall, and as such, they played a part in shaping the future of towns and shires across the state. Halls were, and still are in many cases, used for exhibitions, concerts, speeches, and many other public events. As mechanisation took over farming practices, rural populations started to dwindle, and many halls were soon sitting unused and neglected. This video is our tribute to West Aussie Halls and the big part they've played in shaping the state. Be they big imposing buildings such as the one at York or tiny now disused halls that are gradually falling apart in lonely corners of the state. This is our celebration of these public buildings. Today, as we travel Western Australia to photograph and film interesting places, we often pull up for the night next to an old hall, and in one case, this inspired me to write a ballad, looking back at what halls used to mean to the community. The hall in question was Dingup, near Manjimup, and as I sat there in the fading light, I was inspired to write the following. It was opening night at Dingup Hall, and the invites read, Come one, come all. So the farmers came from miles around, and the kids and parents came from town. The lights were lit, and the music swirled, and the local boys eyed the local girls. As the tickets sold at the entry door, partners danced all around the floor. Up on stage was the local band, and quick-step tunes were in high demand. They partied on into the night, but silence rain come morning light. Now the years since then have slipped away and things have changed so much today. The hall sits quiet, dark and still and the grass grows long on the sloping hill. There's no more dances, no more balls and the life's gone out of the old wood hall. I sit and watch as the sun dips low. Did my eye just catch a phantom glow? Will the ghosts of the old days dance once more? Will the sound of feet cross the old dance floor? Will the band once again strike up a tune? And the hall come to life neath the glowing moon? I look again, but the glow just fades. There's no way back to those long lost days. And the old hall stands by a grove of trees. And the times that were, now just memories.